Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about exponential equations. We'll start by talking about how to solve equations with like bases. In other words, if b to the x equals b to the y, then we can deduce that x is equal to y. As an example, we're going to find the solutions to the following equation. e to the 4x is equal to e to the x squared plus 3. Here, the bases are the same, so we can deduce that 4x is equal to x squared plus 3. Simplifying this further, we find that this is actually a quadratic equation. When we factor and solve, we find a solution set of x equaling to positive 3 and x equaling to negative 1, and we're done. In this next example, we'll solve 3 to the x minus 7 equals to 81 to the 3x. Now I claim that this can be manipulated into an equation with like bases. Notice that 81 is equal to 3 to the 4th, so when we make this substitution, we can revise our equation to 3 to the x minus 7 equals the quantity 3 to the 4th raised to the 3x power. We simplify again to get 3 to the x minus 7 is equal to 3 to the 12x. Now that our bases are like, we can set x minus 7 equal to 12x, and when we solve, we get a final answer of x equals to negative 11 over 7, and we're done. For our next example, we need to remember the following relation. Recall that b to the y equals x if and only if log base b of x is equal to y. Now we'll solve the equation e to the 2x minus 5 times e to the x plus 6 is equal to 0. The first thing that we'll do is realize that e to the 2x is equal to e to the x squared. So we'll rewrite our equation as e to the x quantity squared minus 5 e to the x plus 6 is equal to 0. Now to make this more manageable, we'll make the substitution u equals to e to the x. Rewriting our equation with the substitution, we get u squared minus 5u plus 6 is equal to 0. And then we can solve this like a quadratic and get a solution set of u equals 3 and u equals 2. And then we realize that e to the x has to equal 3 and e to the x has to equal 2 using the substitution, which tells us that natural log of 3 equals x and natural log of 2 equals x. From this, we distill a solution set of natural log of 2 and natural log of 3. Again, we just use our substitutions and then use the relation at the top of the screen to get our final answers. In this next example, we're going to learn how to solve equations with different bases. And here, we are going to more heavily rely on logarithms. So first, we'll solve 3 times 5 to the x minus 1 is equal to 21. Dividing both sides by 3 gives us 5 to the x minus 1 is equal to 7. Since the base in question here is 5, I am going to consider log base 5. Thus, I will take log base 5 of both sides to get the revised equation log base 5 of 5 to the x minus 1 is equal to log base 5 of 7. Now I can bring this power down front by using the power rule to get quantity x minus 1 times log base 5 of 5 equals to log base 5 of 7. Recall that log base 5 of 5 will equal to the number 1, so I get the equation x minus 1 equals to log base 5 of 7. Now simply solving for x, I get that x equals to log base 5 of 7 plus 1, and we're done. Let's look at some more examples. Solve 3 times e to the x plus 3 is equal to 7. First thing I'll do is divide both sides by 3 to give me e to the x plus 3 is equal to 7 thirds. Since e is my base, I'll take the natural log of both sides. This simplifies down to x plus 3 is equal to natural log of 7 thirds. And when I solve for x, I get x equals the natural log of 7 thirds minus 3, and we're done. And in our last example, solve 16 plus 5 times 4 to the x squared equals 336. I'll subtract 16 from both sides, and then I'll divide 4 by both sides to get 4x squared equals to 64. Now, since 64 is equal to 4 to the 4th, I can rewrite the equation as 4 to the x squared equals 4 to the 3rd. And since I have like bases, I can set x squared equal to 3, which means that x is equal to plus or minus square root of 3. 